Yo, 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 what's good? It's someone that's no one, and welcome back to another fresh smoke sesh. This is the intro for the smoke sesh video. This isn't the actual smoke sesh right now. So, uh, basically, your boy kind of struggled making this video for a few reasons. Uh, right now I'm straight, but one reason my nose and allergies got me when I try recording this, and, uh, a little bit of sniffles and all that, uh, sneezing, uh, not in the video, but it was outside of the video, just, just a struggle in that regard, but also, uh, this fucking bullshit, bro, fucking, oh my god, we'll explain this, what happened in the video and whatnot, basically, uh, in the video, we take an edible, 140 milligrams, choice choose, fucking fire, we talk about that in the video, and same thing with the, uh, the weed, uh, 30%, uh, weed, right, of, uh, Fun Fetty Cake. To say the least, this is one of the most fucked up times I've been in a smoke sesh, uh, outside of, like, a trip sesh, you feel? And, I was fucking feeling it, so, like, this is kind of a lot. Uh, a live example of a psychedelic effects of uh, some of these uh, uh, effects I bring up and some of these examples uh, definitely correlate with uh, what I was going through and what I was feeling in this video because not only was that you know I was dealing with the, this other bullshit right it's uh I'm high as a motherfucker I feel fucked up kind of high you feel and it was just uh, affecting my ability to you know get certain information across, this specific information across, where it's like, you know, these studies and whatnot. So basically, we're gonna knock that specific information right out here, right away, uh, because I don't know if we're gonna encode it, it's just kinda, you know, a little sloppy towards the end where we get into it, but uh, we'll probably fucking encode it just because like, shows how like, how it can really just alter your state with a high enough, strong enough dose of uh, cannabis. So, and uh, yeah, big relation to the 5-HT2A in this video, we'll bring that up here. So uh, first thing before we get into that though, uh, and just relation, the specific things of what we know of uh, cannabis in, in the brain and uh, yeah, that explains like, yeah, that makes sense it has the psych psychedelic activity because of this activity going on in the brain so and a lot of people i don't feel like uh, know about this so first thing is default mode network the suppression of the default mode network in the brain <clears throat> this is a region that is associated with ego heavily uh just your normal perception of your life your things going on and things you know and like and when that's activated, some people, uh, or it is correlated and tied to with daydreaming, actually. So, a suppression of this could be tied easily. Sorry, I have to adjust my other phone here just with notes, but the suppression of this could more easily you know, be tied, like, all right, yes, the loss of ego. We look at psychedelics, uh, how a loss of ego can happen. All the points, so, you know, you have an ego death and, uh, I believe you know, there's some accounts of ego death occurring with cannabis, but it is much, much more rare uh, compared to a psychedelic. The psychedelic just seems to have a much more direct effect, a uh, much more potent effect in that regard. But that is a uh, one way, but 5-HT2A, right? So from what we know, it doesn't seem to have a direct effect on 5-HT2A, but cannabinoid receptors, right? Now, are cannabinoid receptors themselves psychedelic? Possibly. I'm not going to, uh, rule that out in this video, or that, you know, that probability of just seeing the effects, uh, it can cause itself, at least from what we've detected, at least. And here's the thing, uh, we only pull up a, a few studies here, guys. I think, like, three, four, and, uh, there's much, much more beyond just what I'm showing. We're just gonna scratch the surface here with this video. It's, uh, I guess kind of, not a super deep dive, but you know, just kind of like, yeah, uh, here's some things about it. 
like here's some effects that line up with how it could be psychedelic and whatnot. So with 5-HT2A, there seems to be some receptor receptor interaction occurring in this, and I haven't really uh, known for this to happen or seen much of this happening, but. Apparently, cannabinoid and psychedelic receptors are interacting in some way, and it's, uh, I believe some ways have been detected. You could take a deeper look at the studies, but, uh, I believe it's just theorized specifically of how they may be, uh, interacting. But, basically, this interaction occurs, and the signaling of 5H2A is, uh, theorized to cause effects itself. And then uh, also this uh, interaction forms what's called uh, heteromers. Heteromers are basically this, uh, we won't make it too, uh, too complex here. So we'll just uh, say it's a, a protein complex. And these protein complexes have uh, effects themselves. Now, from uh, what I found, at least with these studies that I've pulled up, there may be more. Uh, research beyond this but it seems 5-H2A and uh, these heteromers are specifically tied to effects with uh, anxiety uh, amnesia and social social interaction now social interaction that was an interesting one might be tied with anxiety but maybe it's just the actual ability to social social <laughs> socially interact right and it doesn't seem to be uh produce anxiety itself but it's tied to anxiety in some way it might have a reduction anxiety it may indirectly cause anxiety depending on the dose but one of the biggest thing and this also probably ties in with the default mode network is the amnesic effect all right uh specifically uh short-term memory loss right how people uh you know, some people just kind of be forgetting things sometimes. Uh, I guess that can happen. And you, know, you kind of will see this in the smoke sesh. Because like. My recall at this point. Versus my recall in the video. Or the smoke sesh where I'm fucking stupid blazed. Is. <laughs> yeah. It's uh, apparent. So the dosing I feel like is a, a huge thing with that. But very just interesting to see that there uh, actually is this uh, involvement with 5-HT, 5-HT2A uh, itself, and it's not just cannabinoid. And but again, uh, I will go over the effects with this, and it does seem that they found like that 5-HT2A is not tied with uh, locomotion, not producing anxiety, like I said. Nor is it involved with the hypodermic effects, that is body temperature, the uh, analgesia, the pain relief, and the, uh, it's not to be uh, thought to be associated with the uh, addictive reinforcing effects, which uh, would make sense, right? Because what we see with most traditional psychedelics is they aren't very addictive at all, but cannabis we, we see on the other hand, yeah, there is a... Uh, but for times, uh, there's still a desire to smoke with a build of tolerance or whatnot. So, sorry, it's a little bit chilly too, boys. <laughs> and girls. But, uh, gotta do this intro real quick. Just to lay out this, this solid information because this smoke sesh type shit, once we get into it, bro, <laughs> it's just, uh, I guess you can call it, uh, I don't wanna say qualitative, but the live example type shit of how this can be psychedelic and how some of these effects are actually look themselves so you'll just see how that goes but uh yeah i think that's pretty much it for the the specific research that i wanted to bring up i'll probably have examples on the screen maybe a uh, link below whatever so yeah uh without further ado let's get into the actual smoke session here Yo, 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 what's good? Someone that's no one. Welcome back to another smoke sesh. 
you already know what's good. Uh, it's a little cold out. And also, it's fucking bullshit. <laughs> and also, my nose, bro. My nose has been on 10 fucking today. But I'm still gonna try to record this without being all day. So, just uh, bear with me, please. But, yeah, uh, we're gonna talk about this bullshit. And, uh, talk about specifically a request for today. How cannabis can be psychedelic and how is cannabis psychedelic and uh, how it actually has activity with 5-HT2A, which most people, I believe, do not know about. Man, I'm, I might need to get some shoes, fucking. I need to zip up here, I don't know. I should be all right, actually. We'll see. Also gonna do my best. Uh, I'm not gonna use my hand <laughs> to hold the, the phone here. So I'm gonna do my best not to cover the mic here. So again, bear with me. And also, uh, it's getting a little dark. So I'm not gonna be make it. Try not to make this too long, but we're gonna have a sesh here, guys. So without further ado, uh, before we actually get into this, fun Fetty cake. All right, hell yeah. A little special because it's not just like any fucking weed. It's thirty percent. It's like thirty point six percent. Just fitting for today's video, and also before this, uh, like an hour prior exactly to this, took an edible, a little bit of them choice chews. The choice chews fucking swag. Choice chews, let's fucking go. <laughs> let's go all day. The choice chews, bro, let's go. <laughs> fucking. <laughs> oh, God. Choice chews, though, uh, took 140 milligrams. I just said, fuck, because, uh, I wanted at least a hundred, then I just had what fucking two left over. I said, fuck it, I'm just not gonna have the four. We'll, we'll make it a little, you know, smacker. So, uh, choice shoes fucking smack, bro. <laughs> they give me, uh, see, they don't smack like, uh, you know, before we talk about that, let's spark up. Without uh, further ado, let's spark up. They're bullshit. Choice juice fucking smacks. See, they don't. These edibles, <coughs> they don't get me fucked like uh, like most other like smackers. Fucking know what I'm saying. They don't get me fucked like uh. I feel like most edibles I come across, they give you this fucking heavy shit, and it's just like get you fucking tired kind of, and it's just like you want to go to bed. And that's not always the side. Sorry, I fixed my fucking glass. I'm dead. That's not always the side like I'm looking for with edibles and more. I mean, you just don't want to knock out. Sometimes I want that. Yeah, sometimes I. It's like yeah, I'll just fucking take some edibles. Like I'll knock out an hour or two and fucking go to bed for fucking nine ten hours. <laughs> Catch up on sleep, whatever. But uh. God damn. We gotta make it work, boys. We got to make it work. <laughs> with my nose, too. Keep in mind. Cold, I should be able to put up with. We're out here. We're doing this shit. But with these, bro, it's not like that heaviness, sedation. But it's actually like that euphoria. That kind of uplifting feeling. <coughs> that, like, I'm high as fuck. And I'm getting euphoric as fuck. And I'm also getting kind of psychedelic. And this is why it's just fitting for this video, bro. I also with this weed, bro. <coughs> <coughs> this all smacks. As you can tell. But I just wanted to go over a few things. Because my dude Michael had requested this a minute ago. And I, was, and I told him, yeah, sure, I'll... Uh, talk about how a cannabis can be psychedelic in ways and not just through cb1 cannabinoid receptors that's also what i'm here to bring up <coughs> and why like these psychedelic effects may be actually happening so uh, we're gonna just go through uh kind of some basic things at first like some effects and like oh yeah this is psychedelic about the the psychedelic <coughs> or the cannabis the cannabis high and uh these things are then i'm gonna actually <coughs> throw in some studies here 
I'm gonna throw some studies here and get into some specific things with uh, 5 ht 2 a specifically and actually how there's like interactions going on between cannabinoid receptors and the 5 ht 2 a 5 ht 2 a receptors and uh, there's just there's some interesting stuff uh, to see actually with this so uh yeah before we get into that part though we may go inside I'm starting to fucking shiver <laughs> In the last video, kicking it inside. Well, with the growing, uh, it's a little different, but we might. I don't see why not. We might do that in a second here. But uh, let's just uh, let's uh, wait a few minutes at least. So you're probably wondering, no one or someone, or however you want to call them, or whatever, or both. What happened to your goddamn man? <coughs> <coughs> the biggest bullshit happened. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, we're gonna go inside. We're gonna do this inside. Alright, back with uh, this motherfucker. <laughs> I'm fucking dead. Where the fuck? Yeah, my fucking hand, bro. Dumb as fuck. So we be running these miles all day. This has nothing to really do with the miles, but, uh, just fucking dumb, because we'll go run 12 miles in the snow, right? All day, we just walk out to the car, though, and just like, oh, it's up on fucking ice like a dumbass. Just walking out to the the whip, like, come on, bro. I slipped, fell on my side, I landed, my hand was in my pocket, just cause, like, naturally, like, it's cold out, not trying to get my hands fucking cold or whatever, so, uh. Then I landed straight on top of my fucking hand, and like my pinky feels fucked. But I thought I, would, I thought it was just kind of like bruised. Maybe it will get better. But then again, and the hand, like I just had to be sure. So went in, got it checked out, X-ray, all that bullshit. Turns out we broke a bone, fracture, fuck, <laughs> fucking bullshit. It's just some bullshit though. <coughs> we have, <coughs> we had, <coughs> fuck. <coughs> We had to check out. <coughs> no, <it's coughs> Don't know how long it's gonna be yet. I'm gonna see a specialist here in a couple days, so wish me luck that it ain't super fuck like that, and we get a good recovery like that. Cause uh, okay, fuck all this. I can't type like that, so it's kind of annoying. Can't work obviously. Not making bands like that, so that's uh, you know. Little struggle bus a little, but uh, it's gonna be getting by until this heals. So, either way, I guess we'll keep making videos, right? And stuff, I mean, that. <coughs> yeah, man, this uh, today, let's talk. I gotta pull out my other phone here. Hold on. So, a uh, shout out to my boy Michael again. Quote, I'd be very interested in a deep dive on how high doses of cannabis or mid doses with low tolerance can have mild tryptamine effects when it doesn't even affect 5-HT2A. Dash Michael. I appreciate this request. I'm happy to talk about this and like actually do some research myself because I was just kind of curious too. Like any psychedelic, like do people just say it's like uh, psychedelic because of it just seems psychedelic at times and has like the psychedelic quality to it or does is there actually something more to it and uh more to it than that is there a relation to the cb cannabinoid receptors do cannabinoid receptors themselves actually cause uh psychedelic effects that's like i guess a question here so we're gonna see like what about the cannabis experience itself would seem psychedelic Effects I have written down is you can get the psychedelic aura, which is kind of what is fucking happening right now with me, to be honest, just smoking this and uh, all that edible, man. Like, no cap. You can get giggles off of them. So real laughy and whatnot. And you can get an actual psychedelic mindset with it. You can have fear, a bad trip. So there's a very, like, anxiety and uh, my bad, my bad. There's a very anxiety-inducing, like, 
quality that can happen with especially high doses and especially I like to say more nuanced users and people who don't smoke that much or you know it's first time smoker and don't know what it's like type thing I think this is much more of a prone to happening but even then like I guess the right high dose even like for experienced people like my girl like she smokes all the time with me but she'll take an edible and it's like anxiety to the max I guess so it's, it's different I guess at different levels of it because that's why I wanted to have an edible too because uh, we can get to that next so we really get uh, I guess a live take on it while talking about this at the same time speaking of what I did want to bring up I, I may have brought this up in a story or two or just another smoke session or something like that in the past. Uh, my boy Ty. <laughs> Fucking Ty, bro. Hope Ty's doing alright. <coughs> but. <coughs> yeah, fucking Ty. When I gave him his first dab. Right? First dab of rue. That is, uh. Especially how I set him up, bro. Squabber, dude. Of this, uh. It was this wax that was in, uh. A syringe. It wasn't RSO. It wasn't RSO. But it was like this special, like it was like Frankenberry shit, like like ninety percent or something. Just something ridiculous. It was some of the best wax I've ever had, to be honest. And uh but yeah, I just set this dude up like, hey, first that you wanna try this shit? Like this is the next level fucking shit here, bro. Like the wax itself was like crystal clear. So it may have been like TACA, I'm not sure exactly, but like crystal clear see-through, like a little bit of a grayish quality to it, but not really, like almost like water, but you know, wax, you know. You'd have to heat it up to get it out of the syringe and all that, but uh, got ash. But I set dude up and uh, obviously he's just... Uh, he takes it again it's fat it's fat. i'm just like in this hype mode at the time like yeah like let's do the, this wax really high as fuck like yeah man uh, yeah he uh just absolutely goes for it absolutely goes for it and does not hold back and you know inhaling so uh he lets out a huge fucking cloud and uh, dude was just coughing bro <laughs> he's just coughing <laughs> he's dying I felt bad for <laughs> my other friend, uh, fuck, what oh, was it, Tyler, bro, I'm not, I'm fucking dead, yeah, we have Ty, and there's Tyler, I remember, so, and I think Tyler was with us, bro, not to get confusing and all that shit, but, it's those who never really, like, hung out like that, but still, like, be around and shit, you know, but, uh, yeah, Ty's dying, and uh, she's just like, they're just asking, hey, you good? <laughs> but it's just like, he just need. he said he needs a second, he's just like, he just fucking zones out after a minute, after he's finally stopping coughing, I swear he was coughing like seven, eight minutes, something ridiculous, right? You know, just like, <laughs> like loud as a motherfucker. Yeah, eventually he, he just... <laughs> Trying to get an even burn, holy shit. I remember looking at him and just seeing in his eyes, like, and just felt it too, like, I guess like a psychedelic effect, but more like, I guess anxiety and whatnot, just all these thoughts occurring and all this bullshit. And eventually he's just like, he's like, oh, I need to throw up. <laughs> all right, well, I'll run to the bathroom, fucking go, go, <laughs> fucking go to the toilet, don't pick the fucking bed. <laughs> That's all I fucking care about right then. And of course that he's good, but uh, I knew he would be straight, you know, like, it's just weird, like, <coughs> get through it, bro, you know, my bad for you, hooking you up with stupid fat ass dab, like, <laughs> first time ever dab. <laughs> yeah, well, he always knows, man, like, I've always hooked his ass up on shit, that's the thing, so, like, he always, you know, that's how it's always been low-key. Okay. 
Yeah, dude, fuck, we get racist to the back. We fucking miss the toilet. God damn it. <laughs> <coughs> it's a mess. It's all right. It gets cleaned up. We move on with our lives, but yeah. Dude, we're still pretty fucking high after that. So, yeah. Uh, let's get back to that. Uh, just a little yeah, example, I guess, right there. With that, let's get back to the effects I wrote here. And hope I can get this even burnt. I'm trying, boys. My fucking nose has been <coughs> on ten. <coughs> I struggle, bus. Like, if I try to record a report, I don't want to take no fucking Benadryl right now. <coughs> Shit makes me tired as fuck. Then my girlfriend's gonna get pissed. Like, it's all fucking thing. So I'll, I'll take some later, but hopefully I get settled out and my body makes it that, that adjustment. But, uh, try to steam too. Like, I had to steam fucking twice today, bro, too. And uh, this is, like, just ridiculous. Anyways. So, set and setting. This phone keeps fucking turning off on me. Going black. Set and setting is something that can, uh, matter a lot sometimes with cannabis what you're doing on cannabis uh those things i feel like are very noticeable uh you know environment like where you're at at the time and whatnot what's going on and those things i feel like can spark those uh train of thoughts at times and whatnot like if you're engaged in something or not or maybe you just want to watch something or it just depends like it's very situational at times with that Time dilation, that can be very obvious, more so I feel like uh, early on. Uh, the space distortion, just uh, then it's kind of dissociative effect, I feel like at times that just puts on like some may call it a different hue, some just uh, see things just differently, like and some may call it that yeah, like very prominent space distortion where like that seems far as fuck, or like this over here seems close as fuck. But I feel like this one, uh, especially those examples, can be more rare. Uh, you have to be on a higher dose, I feel like. You can't have mild hallucinatory symptoms. You can't have, uh, I haven't had uh, it in a while. Some closed eye visuals right now. And that wasn't even what I was saying, but open eye visuals could be possible with the, a higher enough dose. Or so on edibles, which I haven't talked about in experience yet. I plan to talk about my first edible experience. Actually, I believe it's chapter two. So, expect that to be coming around sometime soon. Uh, euphoria, which uh, could be uh, uh, responsible for the, could be a twin about the dopamine release going on. But the feelings of euphoria, I feel like, could play on to that whole psychedelic feel of things. Dude, this is the struggle trying to smoke. Basically, with one struggle hand. Oh my god, bro. holy fuck. Ah. Such a fucking show to operate this phone then. Holy shit. Hey, we're doing it, right? We do this. Impair our motor control could uh, also, I feel like, contribute to this, to these feelings at times. Then just how, uh, yeah, we'll get into the more, uh, I guess you could consider spirituality as uh, an effect of it, depending on how you go about it, and I feel like that plays more into a set and setting. Fucking ridiculous, bro. Alright, G. Prayers, bro, to those out there that struggle with the boho shit, the hour G's. God damn. Shit breaking on them, whatever the fuck. Fuck the struggle. <laughs> I'm bad. Fuck me, cold, right? Now, let's get into, like I said, more specific things. Now, what happens is, what's theorized is, there is a suppression of the default mode network in the brain. Which, basically this ties to uh, your ego, your sense of surroundings. And when there's a suppression of this, you get a, well, loss of, the, loss of ego. 
the loss of thinking about yourself, uh, the loss of uh, self-reflection, I guess, in a way. And this itself, I feel like, you know, this ego dis disillusion can be uh, very psychedelic in a sense. I mean, it doesn't always happen with psychedelics, of course. But I feel like it is a common theme to, you know, have a, a loss of ego at the very least, you know, all the way up to very these ego depths. So having this uh, state of mind, I mean, uh, they also uh, tie this with daydreaming itself. So in having that just kind of quote, so you can see how it can align with the psychedelic effects. But then let's get into uh, what's actually happening. 5-HT2A. Some of these uh, studies going on. So, I'm high as a motherfucker right now, boys and girls. <laughs> but <coughs> we do these things. Fuck the nose. Fuck the hand. We we make the smoke work. We got that bitch outside. God damn. Struggle bus. Fuck the struggle bus. <laughs> God damn struggle bus. Holy shit. RAG. Oh, the phone. I'm fucking dead. Again, I'm just scratching the surface with this. And, uh, I'm fucking fried, guys. So I'm trying to put this together right now and also dealing with this nose bullshit, but I'm also fucking fried. Especially the space distortion effect is going on right now with me. Is there some psychedelic effect? There's a loss of ego, maybe a little bit. I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. Yeah, the science is there. Look into it. It's a good read. And again, like I said, there's even more beyond this. Uh, that there is... Uh, in association with uh, 5-HT2A. So that's pretty cool to see. So I hope this shed some light and brought some insights uh, for you, Michael, and uh, the rest of y'all out there. And hopefully this was an interesting uh, topic. Hopefully I put this together decently. Hopefully no rate recordings, right? If we have to, we'll do it. It is what it is, right? And we try to smoke and do that, but oh my God. No, I had to cut it short right there and just be like, no, I can't. I fucking can't. <laughs> this is Struggle Bus City, right? Oh, my God. But uh, we do these things again. Take a look at it. And uh, like I said, like I said, I already said what's good, y'all. So uh, let me know what y'all want to see next. Like the video. Subscribe. It's for someone that's no one. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.